Welcome to Airworthy Tours, your guide in the sky. My name is Captain Phillip, and I'm going to serve as your pilot and tour guide as we take a tour of the Port of New Orleans. We are clear for takeoff, so sit back, relax, and enjoy your tour. The Port of New Orleans is a very active port seeing large volumes of cargo and passenger shipping annually. During the 17 and 1800s, the port was one of the most important in the Western Hemisphere. This is due to the fact that it sits at the end of the Mississippi River. The river goes from the Gulf of Mexico all the way up to Minneapolis, Minnesota. In addition, it has dozens of feeder rivers or tributaries that add to the overall system. Our first look are of the steamboats. Steamboats played a vital role in the city's economy in the 1800s to early 1900s as they allowed goods and people to easily access the turbulent Mississippi River. At the outbreak of the American Civil War, New Orleans was the largest city in the South. You could take a ride on a steamboat with the Steamboat Natchez or the Creole Queen, which both offer daily and nightly cruises. Further up is the American Queen, which is a river cruise line offering cruises from New Orleans that go to Baton Rouge, Memphis, and St. Louis. Right next door is the Arado Cruise Terminal. New Orleans has the sixth largest cruise terminal in the U.S and its cruise industry handled more than 1 million cruise passenger movements for five years in a row from 2014 to 2019. A quick look at Mardi Gras World, where many of the floats are created for the Mardi Gras parades. Mardi Gras World offers daily tours of its warehouse. Ahead is the Port of New Orleans headquarters, which handles most of the administration and logistic tasks. And finally, the cargo portion of the port. As mentioned earlier, the port is in a very strategic location with access to 30 plus major inland hubs such as Memphis, Chicago, and Canada. Via 14,000 miles of waterways, six class one railroads, and dozens of interstate roadways. The Port of New Orleans is of vital interest to the U.S. economy. In fact, it reopened 12 days after Hurricane Katrina made landfall, despite experiencing over $300 million in damage. The Port of New Orleans generates $100 million in annual revenue through four lines of business, including cargo, rail, cruise, and industrial real estate. And it generates more than 19,000 jobs for the Orleans, Jefferson, and St. Bernard parishes. The port is a leading importer of steel, coffee, furniture, natural rubber, and forest products, and is a leading exporter of plastics, frozen poultry, paper, and pulp. Here are a couple of household items made possible by commodities that come through the port. 1.65 million steel-bodied cars, 145 million rubber tires, 12.2 billion aluminum cans, 20 billion cups of coffee, 24.3 billion plastic credit cards, and 660 million chicken pot pies. In total, the Port of New Orleans moves over 500,000 cargo units a year. When combined with the larger port of South Louisiana, it makes for the largest port in the Western Hemisphere. If you enjoyed today's tour, you can tip your tour guide by hitting the like button. Also, check out some of our other aerial tours here. Thank you for flying with Airworthy Tours, and we look forward to seeing you on our next flight.